Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to more of my continuing adventures in fighting games. Um, to start off, you probably noticed that the coloring is a bit off. There's not super great lighting today. Hope you won't mind. Um, it's actually pretty late at night here and I just don't feel like having all of my ring lights and everything blasting in my face. So we just got some cool mood lighting and mostly you'll be seeing gameplay so it won't be a huge issue, I hope, anyway. Hopefully you'll forgive me for that. Um, so today, I'm actually going to be trying out Samurai Showdown for the first time, and just like with King of Fighters, I don't have any experience with this franchise. I actually, if I'm being totally honest, just decided to give this a try 99% because of Biken. I, can, I, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. A lot of people, though, are probably going down the same route. You know, we love her. Love, love, love. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yes. So the marketing of this DLC guest character worked on me, and I'm going to be giving this game a try. But also, you know, my experience with King of Fighters 14 so far has been great, and even SNK Heroines has been fun, and you guys have been super welcoming to me. So I thought another SNK franchise, I should check it out, right? At least give it a try. So that's what we're going to do today, and as typical, I'm going to try and go through some of the basic stuff, look at the different characters, not just Biken, and, and we'll progress forward and we'll see how we feel about the game as a whole. But uh, yeah, so let's check it out, guys. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to, you know, go into the tutorial here and see the basics of this game. I really don't know much of what to expect. But yeah, I know that like a lot of the games out currently, um, unfortunately it doesn't have super great netcode and as somebody coming from Mortal Kombat 11, I am quite spoiled from NRS from netcode. So that's always been a big impediment to me, but I'm, I'm just trying stuff out now anyway, going for it. So let's see what this game is like playstyle wise. These guys are pretty crazy looking. All right. <laughs> Whoa, the jump goes pretty high. So far the tutorial is pretty much exactly what I'd expect from SNK games based on the couple that I've tried so far. You can perform another quick jump after landing the previous jump if time correctly. Okay, combo jump, jump after jump, so... And in time with landing, so jump and then jump again, huh? Nope. How long... There it is. Alright, so it's like not even until you get down almost to the ground. Holding the jump button lets you jump continuously, but subsequent jumps. Dodge. Press in time with your opponent's attack to dodge it. Okay, cool. Oh shit! That's a straight up 3D move! After You'll be invulnerable to being hit or thrown. Shit! That's pretty cool! There! It's the timing! Alright. Okay. That was... that took a long time. Blade catch. So this is if I don't have my weapon? It's the same thing, but if I don't have my weapon. Okay. Nice! It's only possible when fighting barehanded and can't be used to counter jump attacks. So I'm curious then about like I'll have to see how it works like you don't always have your weapon hmm. interesting guard breaks don't deal damage but can't be guarded against either so they're excellent so is a guard break basically a throw without any damage and it just leaves you close you can only perform once during a battle. What the fuck is that? <laughs> is it forward and then half circle and then R2? I think I fucked it up. Is that it? 
for seeing us fucking up. That that wasn't it. Uh, R2. I missed it. That's it. Super special is forward plus half circle forward plus R2. Lovely! That's why. Finish tutorial! Alright, so now comes like the most fun part for me with any game is checking out the various characters. <laughs> but I mean, first obviously we've got, I know you guys, this is like the opposite of how I should approach this, but I have to look at Biken first because she was the way, the reason, you know, the goal. This game does have a lot of DLC. As you can see, I didn't get all of them. But I got season three and then a couple of the other ladies. Like it? Pretty. Dojo. Oh, these are the different stages. Oh, these are pretty. They have a different card for each one, what? That's cool. Oh, here she is. Oh, she's got the walk. She's got the walk. She's got the walk. Look at her. Oh my god. Naka River looks good. Look at her little the hawk. All right, so let's see. So we got And then all the kicks. So let's let's do Nakaruru because we have some experience with her in the other game anyway. Fireball is nice. Very familiar. That's my girl. Next lady, huh? Shiki. Ooh. She looks like. She just looks like Psylocke. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks this, right? 
Nice. Nice. Whoa, wait a second. with her <laughs> just <laughs> is she the one so far she is the one So, so far, that's a very strong contender. So, who else we got here, ladies? Charlotte. Charlotte. Wait, yeah, like, she is dressed up like a half-knight, half-fencer, three-musketeers lady. <laughs> She's got good range, it seems. Ooh, that's cool. Whoa, what did I just do? Is this like a hold? She's like a three musketeers lady. shit look at this lady is that like a pirate pirate sword is she a pirate is she a whoa that's some range not on that one but this one's got not so range holy shit what and that's a big Overhead. Look at the what? the range, man. She's like beefy. Whoa. And that's water. All right. So I'm definitely saying that Darley here is a pirate, and I'm down with that. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the 
damage. What the f fuck? Ooh, I like her too. Jesus. She is like so not my normal style of character either. But look at her. She looks so badass. And the range is just mad. Oh, she's interesting looking. Are we genteel? We see gen. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's got a good range. That's weird. Cool. Whoa. Is that- that's kind of like a projectile? It is a projectile. That's cool. I haven't really seen any projectiles before- yet so far. Except for the hawk. Is this like a- it's like a- This is not like a normal DP- Whoa! Is it like a trap? It is a trap! There it is. And this one's right up in your face. Well, that's interesting. So she's got projectiles. This is like a shield. This is a cool character. So she's got like projectiles, a shield, and traps. Which is super like different, like a unique combination of gameplay mechanics, it seems like. She's cool. She's very different. I like that the different characters in this game- oh! And they get the blood on them. I like that the different characters in this game definitely do seem different, you know, from each other. Whoa! Okay, I like her look. She's cool looking. She's got the bow and arrow. So I'm assuming we're gonna get some projectiles here, right? Whoa! What? Is this just like a movement thing? Let me see if I can... Does this just, like... Is there follow-ups? Like... Or is it just about moving to different places on the screen? I have a feeling this is just about, like, moving to different places on screen. Yeah, backwards. That one would normally... Cross up. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, yeah! Ooh! I found my spammy girl! You know I love my spammy girls. Now, what is this? Wait a minute. It builds up. Oh, shit! So if you just hold it, 
Ooh, does that? Wow, but it seems like it's doing something to her too. Oh no, I'm liking this. You know I love me some projectile girlies. And why is she like... On one foot? What? What? Whoa. Oh, this character's kind of fan service -y, isn't she? <laughs> but these weapons are pretty cool. Whoa. Whoa! Alrighty. Like, I'm sorry. She's pretty fan servicey, but some of these moves are sick. Look at that. I'm liking her. I'm liking her! What the hell is wrong with me? Why do I like all the fan service girls? <laughs> I like that too! Oh man. She seems scary. I like her. Oh no. Ooh, I like the her design a lot. Look at the footprints in the snow. I like her already. Ooh. I like her a lot. I like, I like how it looks when it goes into the, the rage. I don't know, I like her look a lot, honestly. And she's pretty cool. Fun. She's pretty fun so far, play-wise, too. So, I like her a lot. Alright, so I think the next thing for me is to just try out, uh... I don't even have all of their movesets written down yet, so it'll be a lot of mashing, unfortunately, and trying to remember things, but just to try out a couple uh, simple games against the CPU with a couple characters that seem cool to me. So I'm gonna do Biken first. Um, yeah, she's the one I came here for, after all, so... And, uh... Against this guy! Alright, it's definitely gonna be... She looks so good! <laughs> oh god! I like that. It's definitely gonna be interesting. Oh fuck.
getting a sense of what like gameplay is actually like, you know. Yeah, I got one of the parries off. I was like not sure how well I was gonna do with that. That was fast. Wait, that was fast. Yeah, I wasn't sure how well I was gonna do with her parries and follows up follow up. But I got one off. Oh shit! Haha! <laughs> yeah, I got one of those off! Alright. Uh oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I should be blocking more. Oh fuck, 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 that's a lot of damage. Yummy me with that one. I like the little fans on the top, like a lot of the artistic little touches are really nice. Oh fuck. See that was my fault, I tried to go for one of the parry things. And uh, that did not work out. I definitely need to like, know the moves. <laughs> oh fuck fuck fuck. He's definitely gonna beat me. Ah! Oh, I'm dead! I am dead! But that was pretty cool. I was happy with myself that I got one of the parries off. And, uh... The stage is very pretty. Ooh! That's our intro? So, I definitely think that once I actually... You know, also... Get some... Some, like, stuff written down? What was that? What did I just do? Why did I lose my swords? How do I pick them back up? Um, but yeah. Oh! Once I get some of her moves actually, like, written down, I think it'll be helpful. Yeah! Yeah, once I have actual moves written down, and I'm not just trying to go based on some memory from just a short amount of time, I think it'll be a lot better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it hard to get that to land? She keeps jumping when I want to go for it! Motherfucker! What the fuck? Okay, that is definitely not what I meant to do. Darley seems like big damage, big range, which is cool. Alright. Defend me. I feel like maybe I should be playing more defensive or something? I've been playing too much Guilty Gear, I forgot how to play defensive. Bad, bad news for me. 
What was that? Oh my god! It's close! Yes! I did it! I won! I won! Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I like her a lot. I really do. I really like her. And not just because I won. <laughs> oh boy. Why does she have a maid's, uh... Oh, fuck. Now, why does she have a maid's, uh... Uh-oh. Someone tell me that. Why does she have, like, a... a... Her headpiece is, like, a maid. Seem fair. <laughs> I should probably like block more and do this less. She got me! <laughs> she got me. She got me. Chum chum. Look at the pigeons. <laughs> Uh-oh. success with these other girls whose fight style seem more like mine than bike it even though I love bike. All right guys so I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here so She's quick so impressions. I, I really do enjoy the game so far. Um, I think that to get a solid sense of the overall gameplay first I'm gonna have to do my typical thing which is my going in and, and writing down all my notes for the different characters I'm interested in with their their specific moves and then do some more practice. Um, but what I'm seeing so far, just even from the uh, the CPU playing against me, is that this game seems to be... Uh, there's certain, certain moves that have such high damage, so you could kill quite quickly, but it also doesn't seem to be based on like massive, very long combos. It's more, um, I guess, about trying to draw in and bait your opponent with some movement stuff, and then once you open them up, you can do a ton of damage. Which I actually think could potentially be useful for me in particular, because if you're new to my channel, one thing you might not know, even though you probably do know about my overall health issues, is one of the long-term consequences that came with my endometriosis is um, some nerve damage, and I have some neuropathy in my extremities, including my hands. So sometimes it's hard for me 
to execute longer, longer, massive combos that require a lot of button presses in a row. Um, so having this sort of more more neutral based and slow style gameplay could potentially be interesting and useful for me. Um, I also like a lot of the characters. I was happy that I was able to get that one parry follow up off with Viking here and I'm definitely going to keep practicing her. She is the reason I looked into this in the first place and she looks great and is fun and I love her. But I really was kind of surprised by how much I liked some of the other characters too. and. There's a couple with playstyles that definitely fit mine more, so we'll see what happens when I get more of a chance to play around with them. Um, so yeah, the big reason, the big negative, of course, is the netcode, and unfortunately that is a big negative in a lot of fighting games, and like I've said, being an NRS girl originally, and also, you know, I've also had Killer Instinct, uh, I've been playing some of them's fighting herds, I'm a little bit spoiled with some netcode, though I have some experience with things like Street Fighter also. Um, but yeah, so that's definitely the big negative overall, but most of the other stuff so far seems positive. The art and the music is all fantastic. The stages I really enjoy. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna say that I'm gonna keep playing this and working on it, but it'll probably be longer before I keep going with it because I really want to spend some more time, as you guys have seen, with King of Fighters 14 that I've been looking at a lot, and, and I'm playing more of that and of course Strive and my MK11 than anything else and so it might take me a little bit longer but I definitely do want to keep playing it some more. I'm having fun with it so far so I'm glad. I'm glad it was worth the purchase and and biking is cool but other things are too so more than just her is cool so I'm glad. I'm glad I made the choice to invest in it. All right definitely gonna wrap this up here guys but thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.